App developers are pushing the envelope on daily basis trying to improve and enhance our smartphone experiences. In fact, so many Android apps comes out every day that it's difficult to keep track of them all. And that's where our monthly best app series comes in, where we bring you the best of every month. So here is a list of best apps for the month of August 2018. Excited? So let's get started. Moment is a new camera app on the Play Store that's designed to replace your stock camera with a full suite of pro options. The thing is, most stock camera offer similar functionalities, especially on the high-end devices. It's worth considering that this is the initial release and more features are planned for the future. So if your stock camera is missing essential features such as shooting in RAW and full manual control, you will probably want to give Moment a look to see if it can improve your photos. Big camera controls now on your phone. Moment Pro camera gives you full manual control. Easily adjust exposure, ISO, shutter speed, focus, white balance, image format and more. All within thumb's reach. Next up we have Me Messaging with AI. Smart digital assistants are all the rage. But what about an intelligent messaging app? Would you like to learn how to act like a human by having a machine correct the way you interact with other humans? Well, if so, then you are in luck. Me Messaging with AI offers precisely that. Not only it will recommend certain phrases so that you don't look like an idiot while texting, but it will also learn from the text to improve your relationship even further. Me is a messaging app that can help you with your texting relationships. It comes with an optional relationship AI assistant who can help you better understand yourself and the other people you communicate with. In its simplest form, Me is simply an upgrade to the default or stock SMS texting app that comes pre-packaged in most phones by manufacturers or telephone carrier. Notes by Firefox is a simple secure notepad app that syncs with Firefox. It's the first Android test pilot experiment from Mozilla, the maker of Firefox. To use Notes, you will need a Firefox account and the free Note browser extension from Firefox Test Pilot. You can count on the app syncing your Notes to the browser and the process is secure thanks to end-to-end -end encryption used while syncing. The NPass 6 beta app wasn't designed to replace your regular NPass app as it is a beta release. It is more for people to test out new features in order to help further development and maybe even take a closer look at what is to come for the production release. One of the biggest change in this beta is the new UI, but the multi-vault feature is also a welcome addition for those of you who would like to take advantage of multiple accounts for work and play. The NPass 6 beta app will not replace the existing app on your phone but will be downloaded as a separate app. You can restore your existing data from previous version into NPass 6 over Wi-Fi or existing backup file. The beta app may contain some features that are still in development and not fully functional. Next up we have Cloud Next. Event apps are usually avoided in our app roundups. But since the Cloud Next app works across the board for each Google Cloud Next 18 festival location, I figured more than enough people may actually get some use out of it. You can expect useful features such as maps, notification of events, instant feedback on sessions and an easy way to sync your personal calendar with the next 18 schedule. Navbar Weather is an excellent new app that will replace your software navigation bar with your local weather. It can display a 5-day and a 3-hour weather forecast. Plus, you can switch back and forth from a line chart to a bar chart. Of course, the best part is that you won't need root access to take advantage of any of these features. Make your navigation bar useful. Change it to weather forecast with beautiful and detailed weather chart. In the never-ending quest for the perfect photo editor, we have discovered Pixomatic. Its ability to cut, replace or get rid of image element easily. It hardly takes any time to figure out too. For example, it can isolate the subject of a photo so you can change the background without any hassle. It can also do bokeh effect, add filter, adjust shadow, make sticker and more. With the latest Android version comes a new security feature for the devices. The feature basically enhances the lock screen security by disabling fingerprint and extended access functionality. Which means once a device has entered lockdown mode, you will need to manually input the password or PIN to use it. Any other unlocking methods like fingerprints and smart lock will not work. 
and I have come up with one of a kind app that mimics the Android P lockdown feature on any Android device. The app simply makes use of device administrator permissions to override the fingerprint unlock and smart unlock feature. All you got to do is install the app, run it and enable the app. When prompted, grant the required permissions. Next, place the lockdown icon on the home screen. Finally, simply tap on the icon to enter lockdown mode. Galileo is my go-to source for Earth wallpapers. It has more than a hundred wallpaper of our planet Earth. With this app, you can see the beauty of nature with gorgeous and high-resolution photographs and use them as your device's wallpaper. It categorizes all the wallpaper in multiple categories like city, coast, desert, field, mountains and seas. The app is completely free to download and does not have any kind of ads. The last app on our list is Exodus Privacy Provider which is an easy way to check all the permissions and trackers in your apps. So if you are a privacy conscious individual or you are simply miffed about the current news covering Facebook's data collection, this tool will offer you the necessary detail to decide whether or not an app is worth using. So which of the above app you like the most? Do you know of any other app that can help you level up your Android experience? Share your thoughts with us in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.